Welcome to this tutorial on creating a randomized question set in D2L version 10.3. So the first thing we'll do is go under the assessments link here and then we'll go under the quizzes area. And so when you go on to begin to create your quiz, what I recommend doing is going under what's called the question library here. So the question library is an area that you can go on and create all of your quiz questions. So if you do want to create a randomized uh, question set, this is the area where you have to go on and, and, and basically uh, build your questions. So what I did is, for example, I've got this chapter two uh, questions folder that I created. So to do that, I just press this blue new button and just selected section here and I created a section that was just called chapter 2 questions so again a section is basically just a folder that houses the, the questions for the quiz and if I click on that that folder it brings me in here and so you can see the seven questions that I've already created now if you wanted to go on and create uh, some more questions or just begin creating questions you would just press this blue new button and you would have a list of all the questions here that you can go on and create for your quizzes but I've already gone on and, and, and done that so maybe for example I've got these seven questions here and I want the system to randomly select five of those seven questions or the seven questions I have here to give to the students so to do that what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go back under the um, under the main quizzes area here under this manage quizzes and I can see this first quiz I have here is, is chapter two quiz so maybe I want to add my randomized question set to this quiz so all I have to do is click on this little little action button right here after chapter two quiz select the edit button and there's an option here to add edit questions here under this properties area so what I'm going to do is I'm going to select add edit questions and once inside of, uh, of the uh, edit, edit questions area, I can just select a new and random section. And so for the section name, I'm just going to title this chapter two random section. And though, so just at the bottom of the page here, these, there's the ability to, to save. So I'm just going to press that blue save button. And you can see it creates this chapter two random section that's associated here with our chapter two quiz. And so to add the questions to that random section, I'm just going to click on the folder here. And I have the ability to import those questions from the question library. So I'm going to press the import button. And then I can go on and I can see I've got all my questions that I can pick from here from the, from the question library. So I want to add those chapter two questions. So then it goes and it brings up a list here. So I can select this little button here or just select the individual ones that I want to add. But in this instance, I want to add all seven of them. And then I just press the save button. And so it says uh, questions per attempt. So that means out of the seven questions, how many do you want the system to randomly select? So I'm going to say maybe five. I want it to select five of the seven questions. And so here I'm going to say, okay, each one's worth one point. And if we scroll over here, there's a little button that says done editing questions. Actually, the first thing we'll do is go over here. I'm going to save this. So after I, I input the five questions per attempt, what I want to do is I want to press this the save button here. And then I'm going to go over and press the done editing questions. And so you can see here in our, our question uh, quiz question setup page here under the properties of this quiz, um, that it's going to uh, randomly select uh, or choose five of the seven questions. All right, so I can actually choose how many questions I want to display per page if you want to. So you can put any number between one and five. If you just leave this blank, it's going to show all five of those random questions on, on one page. And if you do choose to have maybe one question per page, for example, there's the ability here to prevent moving backwards through the pages. So, this, so selecting this option would mean that the students wouldn't be able to go back and change their answer to a question after they've already answered it. All right, so that's it. So after that, we just press the, uh, the save and, and, and uh, save button here, and it'll save this. And so when I do save and close, that's it. We have our randomized uh, section set up. And uh, if you wanted to add a second randomized question set 
to this quiz, you have the ability to do that too. And you can just follow the steps that we just did where we go under the quiz properties and select add edit questions and go through and create a, a second random section. So this concludes the tutorial on creating a random section in D2L version 10.3.